Hello everyone, welcome to yet another segment of College Dunia Connect. Today we have Dr. Neha Pandey with us. She is the principal of Biani Girls College, Jaipur. She has been working here as a principal for the last six years. Uh, she has done her PhD, MBA and Bachelor's in Computer Science. Uh, she is the winner of National Award, Dilawati Award for Women Entrepreneurship by AICTE, Ministry of MHRD, New Delhi in April 2021. She has been nominated by VC as member of Faculty of Management Studies at RTU Kota. She has also established many skill-based training centers in Rajasthan and has uh, published multiple papers in Biocon and other notable uh, conferences. Uh, welcome to the segment now. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Uh, Ma'am, we have a few questions for you uh, regarding your personal education, uh, Biani College and uh, your educational uh, educator industry uh, you know, experience. Sure. Uh, Ma'am, can you please uh, help us with understanding a little bit about your leadership philosophy? Uh, being a part of the management, can you describe your uh, style of leadership to our viewers? See, I think leader is one, you know, who can lead by example. So I be strongly believe in this concept of leading with an example. Therefore, what it really means is that whatever task you are assigning to your team, you should be able to do it first, show them how to do it and then take them along with you. Because you just can't command by, you know, orders. You should be able to earn respect with, you know, which comes from the heart. So if you work in this leadership style where you take everybody, decentralize your things rather than centralizing everything at one point. So that is the way I work, you know, yeah. Uh, Ma'am, you have been an integral part of the of the Ani colleges uh, for over half a decade. Uh, Ma'am, could you give us some uh, uh, you know instances where your work has impacted the overall growth of the organization? See, one thing I would say that I am a workaholic. You know, I can't sit without work. So, and that is what I try to inculcate in my team members. So, when I have similar ten more hands working like me you know, we can touch the sky. So that is what I have tried to do over last six years. So, you know, we went into autonomy. So we made the college autonomous, which was granted by University Grants Commission. Then we went into another vertical, which was skill development. So we opened up many skill centers and we developed that vertical also, wherein we got a lot of orders from RSLDC, AICTE, where we were able to train more than 1,000 young minds and give them good placements, make them employable. So that was another achievement that we did. Another thing that we did uh, notably here was that we got the accreditation for NAC, for Biani Institute of Science and Management. And this I could do only because I had good people to work with uh, in my team, you know, because nobody can do it single-handedly. Ma'am, uh, as you recently also received a patent in AI-based employee achievement system performance yeah. and uh, you know you have been associated with the computer science and uh, technical field for a long time. You spent uh, about a decade in the corporates. What made you move towards the education industry uh, as, as an educator and uh, why do you feel that education is the best industry to work in? See, uh, after having finished my computer science, the dream was to be a software developer and I was lucky enough to get the first break as a system analyst immediately after completing my engineering and I did work for about five years as a system analyst and programmer but you know I really didn't like the desk job maybe I was more of a people's person which I realized probably after having worked for five years and then after having done I switched over to MBA and then I went into corporates did the managerial job roles in NIIT kind of a big company worked with Wipros also for some time and then I actually felt that I need to be in a place where I can make more people like me and that is possible only in the education industry you know because where we are able to these are the young girls and boys who are coming from the schools that is the time when you can really nurture them give them the best education and they are the people who can lead country to the great heights you know so that is the thought which was coming my way that I want to be with the students and then I switched over from corporates in 2003, came totally into academics. But coming to Biani Group Institutions and uh, Biani Girls College, yeah. I know ma'am you are very passionate about uh, all the work that you've been doing here. Could you also help us understand what are the uh, topmost priorities of the college for the next three years? See the topmost priority for the college, I would say the first is to integrate with the thought of Prime Minister that is make in India concept that means we have complete focus and emphasis on research and development 
incubation and startups one policy second thing if a human being or a student is you know mentally very capable but if he does not have the good value system he or she will never be a good manager or will not be able to lead country to the great heights so our another emphasis is teach them the techniques you know technology wise management wise make them good entrepreneurs or the managers but give them good value education as well so uh, it is a practice in uh, biani girls college that we provide regular value based education to them learning management through geeta learning management through mahabharata and uh, how one has to deal every day life and then we have started with a program called urja and under the umbrella of urja we are giving lot of uh, personality enhancement program to the students we are giving them skill based enhancement system uh, programs also to the student so overall development of a child is our priority in over coming 3 years wherein emphasis would be on research development incubation and startups So how would you define your connection with the students and the other faculty members who are empowering uh, your vision for the college and uh, how do you balance that expectation between the students and the faculty members uh, see let's take the students first you know students are really very passionate if you are able to guide them properly uh, then sky is the limit for them also because the direction is very important if you have the correct mentor and he or she is able to guide a student to one particular goal certainly we are able to achieve likewise we have developed a student council wherein there is one president vice president then there are various members team so we have made a team of complete 30 members there are various clubs so our vision is able we are able to achieve our vision through these students because if you teach one student then she is able to teach another 10 students we have class years and that is the mentoring system we have adopted and our thoughts are able to transform into the students also through this student council and if i talk about teachers they are very passionate they are very loving and very uh, giving as well so they when they are coming here they are working for 6 to 7 hours every day their intention is that how i can give my best to the student and i am you know i can say this very proudly that academic part is much much better or it is one of the best i would say in the industry i work with many organizations but academically bihani group of colleges is very strong and we are able to give uh, you know university merit score uh, merit holders every year we have gold medalist in last uh, year also before that we had six gold medalists and that happens only when a teacher is able to give 100% to the student right now. Uh, ma'am uh, what kind of uh, uh, placements internship and higher study opportunities which are provided to you know students at the university institute yeah for uh, placements we have a complete placement cell headed by a training placement officer along with that we have department wise coordinators and the aim is to give them complete exposure international as well as national and then third is to make them entrepreneurs because if a child becomes an entrepreneur certainly she be able to provide jobs to many students so that is also one of the focus areas and ecel is continuously working for that and we have developed this ecel uh, with the grant which we received from aicte about 5 years back and from government of rajasthan also so uh, when a child is working on a project teachers are able to guide them and uh, bring the idea into a, a product that is the pro- process that a child has to go through and the usps of biani group of colleges would be uh, like uh, one is the value education then internships and as far as placements are con- concerns we have tie ups with uh, multiple companies in india and abroad we have very good relationships with japan we've tied up with more than five top leading universities where our students are going every year for pursuing their masters degree or phd degree and this year also vanshita one of my student has gone so we are able to provide a platform to the students to academically uh, enhance this uh, education in india and abroad girls are going to germany also with our tie ups and we have tie ups with the industries also in japan like one of my student has recently joined at well group as a healthcare worker another two students are working in the nihon softwares part of well group who are developing softwares from he- sitting here in india and giving the softwares to japanese company called neon softwares so that center of excellence is also working and we try our best to give maximum internships to the students i made it mandatory that if a student is doing 3 years graduation minimum 3 internships should be done because what you learn in books can only be validated if you are working 
so what a child learns in on the job training is much more important and you know it enhances the skills also so this is how we totally take up the placements and with our mous with it industries management industries and ngos we are able to give them good placements so uh, now one last question yeah. if uh, if you have any message for the students and parents who are planning to join uh, bali women colleges or you know in general uh, uh, you know bali girls college any message for them now uh, look we are working for two causes one is women empowerment because majorly we are dedicated into women education for last 17 years and another is technically enhance their skills so it is youth empowerment through technical education that's the motto of and the vision of the organization and the major points that biani has is like we are nac accredited with a grade very few colleges would be having a grade Uh, and this has been done since last 2015 majorly these few in last few years colleges are taking the accreditation but we were we had that vision of giving quality education quality placements quality teaching methodologies that is why we were able to achieve a grade in 2015 itself and another thing is that value education is our focus area because a person without complete value education will never be a good human being so to give into the society give back to the society we have to prepare a child in 3 to 5 years as a good human being technically sound with management skills and complete global uh, global exposure so that uh, she is a complete package when she passes out from the college and that's my message to all of you thank you so much for your thought ma'am thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you so much thanks a lot